Well, there's been a hike, uh, a spike in home invasions here in Tucson to Texas with the Counter Narcotics Alliance unit says the cases are becoming more violent. News for Tucson investigators take a look at the cause and the effect it has on the community. Lupita Murillo has more. Home invasions don't involve traditional victims. CNA detectives say that most victims are involved in illegal activity and many law abiding Tucson residents are getting caught up in a wave of violent attacks. They're happening a lot more than they are being reported. Tucson Police Detective Oscar Cuellar is assigned to the Narcotic and Violent Crimes Unit with the Counter Narcotics Alliance. It's a multi-agency drug task force that investigates home invasions. It seems like most of our home invasions are with harder drugs now, which is the cocaine, the meth, the heroin, but the biggest thing is the fentanyl pills. Fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. It's mixed into pills that look like prescription opioids and killing people. In 2020, over 400 people died in Pima County due to drug overdoses. That's a 32% increase from the year before. Also, we have seen more violence. Just a week ago, a man who lives in this house was beaten and kidnapped just after 4 a.m. From a witnesses account, we had three individuals that were in tack vests and assault rifles. There was a woman in the house. Held her at gunpoint and took her car keys and her phone. The vehicle with the three suspects ended up going to this rural metro fire station. And three individuals in that vehicle were shot. The firefighters rendered aid. Two were transported and one was actually uh, deceased. Detective Cuellar says both are charged with felony murder, kidnapping, robbery, aggravated robbery and aggravated assault. The victim was later found and was badly beaten. Jose Alexis Aguirre Tirado went from the hospital to the Pima County Jail. The other suspect remains in the hospital. The detective says Jose Manuel Lopez died from gunshot wounds. Tucson Police Captain John Levitt heads CNA. Home invasions are a threat to everybody, even if they hit the wrong house. In April, surveillance cameras captured these four individuals breaking into the wrong apartment. The guy in the red is the one that held my daughter at gunpoint. I hope someone helps find him. KVOA viewers identified this man, Francisco Ramos, as one of the four suspects. He remains behind bars under a $50,000 bond. The other three remain at large. It's just a danger. It's a danger to leave these people out there. Detective Cuellar adds that most home invasions occur because of drugs, cash, or weapons. So he urges people if they see something suspicious to call police so they can curb the violence and get those people off the streets. Investigating for you, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson. Well, hundreds of students who were unable to walk during their graduation last year due to the pandemic are now.